Oh, Wompsters, this is going to be good. We got Womp It Up coming to you live, hot and fresh. That's right. Largo at the Coronet in Los Angeles on January 9th at 8.30 p.m. Get your ticks. It's 30 bucks to get all the womps you can handle. That might handle. seem like a lot, but guess what? We're jam-packed with special guests, including we're gonna, gutter balls. We're going to jam these guest stars right up your buttholes. All right. Gutter Keep balls. Classy. Seth. Dr. Lionel Drioche, Joe Bongo, Rhonda DeLuce. Senior Cruz DeLuce. With some special surprises and free DiGiorno's for everyone. Just kidding. We'll work on that. Largo-LA.com. Oh, yeah. This feels good. Because we do it two in a row up in this bitch. Whoop up the jam. Whoop it up. We at Marita Del Rey Public Library. And we don't give a shit. Because we doing some interviews and also other stuff. What's going on? You want to start again? Sorry. Hold on. Let me have some of these. um, Don't eat on the podcast. Nothing more that people hate than people eating in the podcast. Hold on one second. Cheddar bunnies. We could have started after you ate your cheddar bunnies. Hold on one second. I got a Mexican Coke. I'm going to pour some out for little Nikki. Hey, don't do that. Not on this rug. Oh! I don't want Miss Anderson up in my biz again. Hey. That asshole Sam's still here? Yes, he works here. He's a new employee. He's trying to do his job. Fuck that guy. Here we go. Ready? All right, I'm ready now. Ooh, yeah. I got those cheddar bunnies coursing through my veins, y'all. And it's going to be (laughs) me. Hop up the jams, hop it up, cause I'm a cheddar bunny, and I gotta go straight to your stomach, and get digestive, oh, I don't know, I can't do it. I think you want to do it one more time. Really? This is the last one, and I want you to give it all you got. Hey. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, um. Down that coat. Inhibited. Down that coat. I'm feeling inhibited Why? by this old guy here. He's not that old. He's just a dad. <clears throat> I know, but I was like, why do we have to do this? What do you mean, why do we have to do this? Like, we're why are we being forced by the school to <coughs> interview this guy? We, ch- we can choose I just to don't know why do you're it. bending over for the school and taking it up the about? butt just for, so that we can, like, still stay and record this podcast. It's like, why do we have to record? Why do we have to have this fucking we weirdo? Don't have, listen, everybody has a story, okay? Behind the hard exterior and that ponytail that touches the ground. Everybody has a story. And just, that's you. You're the interviewer. You're the master interviewer. You're gonna yeah, get but down Diane to the Sawyer doesn't just take interview everybody off the street. She would if she had to. She's like in rock in a sweet ass pencil skirt and t- tell them what she wants. Ready? To. She's got a skincare line right. too. Stop looking at me. Five, Sorry. six, ready, go! Womp up the jams, wop it up. I'm Marissa Wobbler. I'm here with Shardog, Dog, Shaw like Lissa, and I'm doing a podcast. Oh, just go, right. just go. I Nobody can't. Nobody could understand what you just said. I just can't. That was All right, the worst say it intro. in words. That's the, that's the worst intro I've ever done. Just say it in words. You've okay. said that before, and it isn't. All right, hey, everybody. You say something about a wet dong. Shit, that's what I meant to do. To do it again, one nope, more time. No more. Do it one more time. No more. Do it one more time. No. Do it one more time. No. Please. Stop pointing at me. Please. No. Okay. Hey, everybody. I'm Marissa Wampler. This is Womp It Up. We are, uh, we are recording live to, to tape. tape. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. Between and betwixt the stacks at Marino Del Rey Public Library. To my left is Miss Charlotte Shardog Listler, my teacher at the Stars Academy. This is your senior project. For A.K.A. The-, the Spaz Academy. Yeah. This is my senior podcast project, and I am interviewing people in the environs of Marina Del Rey, some of which I want to interview, some of which I am being forced to interview. Don't be rude. <coughs> Don't be rude. Always make a safe space for your podcast guests. Fine. I can go. No, what? We- what do you mean you can go? Like- I'm going to go. Oh, no, I thought please. you meant you could go. Like you could, like you could, like take <laughs> Whistler on. Too. I did too, but he Thank wasn't talking to me. me. I'm gonna go. Please don't leave, sir. I'm we, leaving. No, just just stay, okay? Beg, beg me to stay. Oh, oh God. Shit. See what I mean? <laughs> I want both of you to. No, beg, we're not beg gonna me. beg you to do anything, hey, Mr. Butterman. Beg me to stay, or I'm leaving. All right. Here's the deal. Here's who I've got <laughs> as a guest. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Glenn Butterman. Mm-hmm. He is the head of the per- parents. What do you guys call yourselves? You're Paw like the patrol. What? Paw? Paw, Paw Patrol. Paw like P-A Patrol? For, PA for parents. Okay, well, you know that's also a very successful kids' cartoon, Paw Patrol. What is it? W. 
Paw Patrol. But that's about dogs. It's Paws about dogs. dogs. <laughs> yeah, I did not know that. This is, uh, what is the cartoon about? It's about dogs that are like saving. Heroes. Yeah, they're heroes. They don't they're like, fight crime though, do they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> For, are you being serious? Yes. I'm being absolutely serious. It's called Google Paw Patrol. It. Well, our Paw Patrol is not about dogs. It's about parents yeah. against whackness. Oh, okay. God. So what am I talking about? Crime, vandalism, loud music, premarital sex. You need to get to the bottom of who has drawn all those dongs on the- uh, you Bet your ass I am. On the homecoming floats. Why, you have a tip? Don't tell me. You can call it in. Doing I got an your anonymous tip. tip of, I got a tip of your <laughs> drawing. <laughs> I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go. I'd oh, love to know. Stay. I would stay. love to know who's drawing the tip because it's very anatomically correct. If there you're been, not to, to this to this point in the school year, <laughs> there have been approximately how many dongs have been written, drawn? Exactly sixty dongs. <laughs> That's a lot. And where are those? What surfaces and what's the medium being used? Uh, mostly spray paint, also uh, children's chalk, uh, <laughs> and and mostly around the school campus. Also, some around the Marina del Rey area. Some. Also, somebody did some very nice cray paw work. Mm. Cray paw dong work. Now, the chalk and the cray paw, not permanent, could easily be wiped know, off I'm or sorry, washed I'm off. I'm sorry, I have to stop the the podcast. I don't know what cray paw is. Cray paw is a is like a, a pastel. It's a pastel. It's, it's like a an medium. art. It's yeah. a type of of crayon. Slash I wonder if we should name chalk. our parents group cray paw patrol. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not a, that's not a human laugh. That's not a human laugh. You're trying out a joke uh, there. Good this job. Is why, you good, know what's crazy to me? To I got to tell you, this is crazy. Humor to me. is important in in any situation. Humor is is always important. Where'd you learn that? The Navy SEALs. You know, this guy's a former Navy SEAL. Yeah, well, I'm aware. The, of one of the reasons I quit record. was because they wanted me to cut my hair, and I said, "No, thank you. I'm out." I made it into the Navy SEALs. I was in the with SEALs. the ponytail. No, without the ponytail. And then I was in for ten years. Uh, and grew the a lot of stuff tail. I don't want, a lot of stuff I don't even want to talk about and then wanted to grow the tail out right grew the tail down to my butt and they threw me out and I said good good luck America wow and since then this country's in the shitter yeah that's mm. for sure that's you know, for you know sure what I'm talking about absolutely I do but yeah dongs uh, so you're on dong patrol essentially. I think I'm going to go. You're, no, please. Why would you go? go? She just summarized your- Mr. Your, Butterman, you're the one who's like forced yourself onto this podcast, okay? I'm giving you I the came air. Nobody here. forces anybody on anybody's self in this tent. Do you hear me? Jeez. I'm just saying it was him and the- uh, We I, this willingly accepted him into uh, under certain circumstances. Do you consent to my being here on the yes. podcast? Do you consent to my being here? Yes, yes. But Great. I'm just saying, stop but pulling this power shit where you keep saying that you're going to leave when I'm doing you a favor by putting you on my podcast. If what, I, what all adults require, maybe you don't know this, is respect. Okay, I, and I, we we deserve respect. Fine, wow. tell that to your you. son. It's a good lesson, Trevor Butterman. You know my son. Yeah. He set fire to one of those desks. Don't take that out of the podcast, please. He did in allegedly. social studies, allegedly. allegedly. All of this is going to be edited out. And he's hot as hell. We don't have any okay. way. We're editing to all edit. of this we don't out. No, you how can't to edit, talk it. To edit I'm not here to discuss the alleged crimes that my son, Trevor right. Butterman. How uh, about his crimes of the heart? Because ba boom, ba boom. I'm not going to talk about that. Because he's packing a hamaconda. Don't want none until you got buns, son. Why don't we do our hot topics? Um, no, 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 no. Yeah. I don't even know what that is, and I'm not doing that. Don't what, worry what about it. it is. Pictures just say of yes my son's life, wiener. Mr. Butterman. Is it pictures of my son's wiener. Do you have any? Because I would love to save them on my hard drive. I have a lot on my phone. He sends them to me. <laughs> that is funny. You know what I mean? Not only is that guy popular and hot, but he's funny. Who's this, Aerosmith? R.I.P. Yeah. R.I.P. He's not dead. Steven Tyler's not dead. Steven but the Tyler's band, not dead. I thought they the, were all dead. The band oh doesn't God. come together. No, wash your mouth out. I thought they were all dead. The seals, the seals were going to assassinate Why? Aerosmith. Why? What has Steven Tyler ever done? What? They were going to overthrow the government. An inappropriate use of They were going to overthrow the government. Give me a break, man. You're crazy. So disrespectful. Yeah. It's what? True. You know what? This is life. This it's is true. real life. Okay. It's true. The more you try to keep us down, 
the more we're going to come this back pony, hard. This ponytail is real He's life. not trying to keep anybody ah, down. It was hey, just on my hand. Hot topics. Why are you here? It keeps wheeling. It seems like hey, wheeling around. around. What? Why, why are you I'm here, here to promote my parents against Wackness group yeah. to raise awareness for other parents in the community to come out and join us here at the when school. When do you guys meet and where, where do you meet? We meet here at the school in uh, room 201. Do you have snacks? No. We meet Wednesdays. Here's your problem. You're Wednesdays not a parent. from 3 p.m. Right after school gets out until 12 midnight. Okay, that's way too long. There's a, a lot of crime to go over. A lot over. of people Listen are to me, working. A lot of people are working. Late? Can, Can they, they come, come late? After work? No, you can't come late. The door's yeah. locked. The door's locked at How 3 p.m. How many attendees have you had at these? At this? At the last meeting, we had only four people. Okay. Who? That's, including myself. Who is it? Me. Uh-huh. My son, Trevor, who had to, being he's not a parent. to be there. Had to come. He's not a parent. Why is he? Well, he's not allowed to be out of his sight because if he, if like house, like parent arrest. And Bob and Sandy Queefy. That's interesting that the Queefies are there. Yeah. They come by because they're concerned about the community, as we are. Yeah. And Trevor's thought, trying. I'm Trevor, sorry. Trevor is also trying to, Guys. obviously, yeah. fight the crime the same way that I am. Huh. Can I ask a question about the Queefies? Yeah. Is Christy um, Queefy still in school? I Chris, thought she'd graduated already. She was held back. Oh, okay. Because she threw some ragers. Is, uh... I wouldn't I, promote. I wouldn't. I wasn't promote invited, but the Queefy's home as a the Queefy's home. You know what their Queefy's backyard looks like? Straight up, like um, Hugh Hefner's pool. The you grotto, know the grotto. the grotto. It looks just like that, and it even has its own tiki bar. So you know what, Queefy's. If you don't want to have your daughter throw big ass parties at your house, don't have your backyard look like the Playboy Grotto. You know what, Queefies? If you are listening to this, I assume that you are because they, uh, you know, they're they're one of the two most important members. Currently, fifty percent of Paw Patrol. Uh, I would say stop listening to this podcast and get back out on on patrol right now. Oh, really? You know why they may not be on patrol? You know, there was a whole thing, the whole rumor that the Queefies had a bunch of sex parties for other parents at the house. Were you there? Their real last name? I, I, I've never heard anything. Yeah, about Mrs. Queefy would put on like a black. String bikini and roller skates. She'd be rolling around, serving people drinks. Uh, other parents mm -hmm. putting keys in bowls. That's their real last absolutely. name. Absolutely, is not Queefy. What is it? Davidson. What? Is that true? Why yes. would they use everybody, Queefy? They adopted as... it because they're proud of it, and everybody just started calling them Queefy. And I think you know why. All I know is that this is a couple that came to me, and that was not a jacuzzi pool. What was it a pool of? It. What? Where are you? What is? What it are you, you talking are, about? And yes. How do you even? It didn't have jets. <laughs> you mean the bubbles were coming out of Mrs. Queefy's <laughs> vagina? Sandy Queefy Davidson, <laughs> Nay <May> Davidson, <laughs> would dive in the pool. And I don't like this so much. I don't like this kind of the the. What bothers me about this is it's slander. No, it's and not. That, it's that's not a crime. Slander is, like, well, slander is a crime. <laughs> this is Marina Del Rey lore. I, know, I understand they've turned it around, okay? Yeah, and they're like they have turned it in around. a 17-step They're patrolling, step <clears throat> they're right. patrolling that with me uh, most nights of the week. We go, on, we go on Paw Patrol, around the marina, around the school. Mm -hmm. You sure that isn't because they have some sort of kinky shit where they want to have sex in people's bushes or something? Because that We're was another thing they said. talking too much about the Queefies, guys. It's not. The point is, Mr. I, Butterman's got, is spending most of his time with these this couple that is a complete sham. One night a week he's, spent, he's spending with No, them. it's five nights okay. a week. It's five nights a week. I thought you said the Wednesday. Meeting, the meeting at the school. Mr. Is, Butterman is, is essentially a in a queen bee scenario with Sandy Queefy. They're all serving this woman. Sorry, what is a queen bee scenario? It's Let's, with one no, woman. That's not what's happening. All these men serve a one woman. It's what I hope someday to have. They all serve her sexually, physically, the Are whole you nine yards. Sandy Queefy. Not that I know of. I, not that I know of. There I will say. Are that you giving Sandy, money to Sandy? A little bit of money, yes, but that's for a different reason. Sandy Queefy gives me a conditioner for my ponytail that I can't get anywhere else. Really? What, what, is, what it? is it? What is it? It's called. It's like this Moroccan oil yeah, conditioner. Yeah, you can get that at Rite Aid. I didn't know that. I pay her six hundred dollars a week. That's a, a queen week? scenario, right there. Six hundred dollars a week Ding, to dang. condition my ponytail, Mr. Butterman. Too much money. First of all, your ponytail is dry as hell because it keeps scratching at my arm. 
I can't okay. help wear my pony. When I whip my hair back and forth, <laughs> mm-hmm. I whip my hair back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth. Mm-hmm. So I can't always tell where it is at any moment during Fine. the day. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. Marissa, listen. do you have hot topics that you want to cover today? Because if you do, do it now. Um, what do I have to say? How uh, popular is this? Is her senior project? Yeah. And then, and then what? So then she'll graduate eventually. Is that the? I hope. Is that the goal? <laughs> yeah, I that's hope. the goal. We did. Uh, do you need entire... anyone to write you a recommendation for your college apps? I that do. Great. Yeah. It's not going to be me. Oh my god. It's not going to be rude. me. It was a setup, and then you pulled the rug wow. out from under her. You From know what, what I've seen so far, you seem like someone that's drawn dongs around school. No, 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 no. You no, knew what please. Crepa was. No one else in the room Everybody, knew what Everybody I, in the art club knows what that is. Listen, if I wanted to be drawing dongs around school, I would be doing it. And I would know about it. Yes, because you'd be helping me. That's right. But no, do I appreciate a you good don't dong even know, right on something? You don't even sure. know what a real dong looks like either Excuse of you. Excuse me? Describe a real dong to me right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Describe so a real dong? Yeah. All right. If you're so great at drawing dongs everywhere, describe it. Okay, it looks like um, it looks like a like a like a hot dog with a little acorn hat on it. If you could do it in more of like a whispery voice. Oh no, I'm not falling for this shit. No, 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 no. No. Oh, give me a break. I'm not getting in. I, l- listen, I'm Glenn Butterman from Paw Patrol. The last thing I'm interested yeah, in right. is some sort of sick. Uh, you right. Yeah, half, you want us to describe. To you describe took it. half a whoopee cushion and deflated it. But, okay. And then put some marbles in it. So it kind of sa- sank down. That's the okay. bottom of it? That's and the then, balls? And then you, yeah. And then you cinch up just one little piece in the middle and that connects up to the hot dog. Okay. And then but then s- that hot dog's too thin. If you're, if you're, if you're lo- using a, a whoopee cushion as the balls, then so you've got to do half of it. Cushion. Yeah. Uh, like, say we take half of a whoopee cushion, though. It's not the full I whoopee cushion. I see. Okay. Cushion. Put a bunch, put of, a marbles bunch of marbles in it. In it. Sure. And okay. You cinch it up cinch the middle. Cinch it up the middle. Just a little bit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then you know what I would use as the shaft is one of those water snakes. You know what I mean? Oh, those yeah. things that are. That you get at the Spencer. That you get at the, the five or mm-hmm. at the five and dime. It's a water snake. You know, it's like. Is that what it's called? Yeah, where it like squirts out? It describe like, it uh, more of like a whisper. No, tone. see what I mean? Not falling for it, Butterman. Not falling for it. I don't okay. Know, I don't know what you're accusing me of because that sounds like slander. And guess what? I could do a citizen's arrest right now if no, I wanted you to. I could do a no, citizen's you arrest easy. Hey, not in the Navy SEALs. Sounds like you went AWOL from the Navy SEALs. I didn't go AWOL. I was dishonorably discharged because of my hair. That's what she said. That's what's coming out of some of those dogs. Is some okay. dishonorable discharge. Sandy Queefy knows about that. <laughs> You know what? They're listening to this right now. I hope not. Okay. I hope not. Please. They should be out patrolling. Sandy, Doug, please <laughs> check the back of the school, the football field, and please check the track area for vandals or breakdowns. This will, be, re- or this break will be released like six months from now. So oh. bad news on that. Sandy, Doug, don't you don't need to check for vandals or breakdancers. <laughs> okay. So uh, hot topics. Uh, nothing, no, nothing's, nothing's going different. on. We're nothing's going, going on. We're going to a break? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> you know, Sarah Sandy, Smith? I'll tell Sarah you what, Smith? Sandy Queef keeps it, Queefy no. keeps it tight as hell though, right? She has a nice body. <laughs> for a married for for a for a married lady. That's right. This is what she what she probably does her rollerblades to. Oh. Anybody want any mimosas? My wife doesn't speak English. <laughs> That's not a surprise. Hey, Matt Belknap, the New Year's right around the corner. That's so true, Jimmy. And what better way to bring in the New Year but by trying out a new podcast. Never, Never not funny. Yeah. Now, we're not a new podcast, but maybe it's new to you. We if might you... be the oldest podcast on your Wolf. Never not funny's been around, like you say, almost 12 years now. Yep. And uh, some people are still not on board, which I find ridiculous. <laughs> if you like people like Paul F. Tompkins, Scott Ackerman, Tig Notaro, uh, I don't know. Andy Daly. Yeah, Andy Daly. Conan O'Brien has been known to stop by. Yeah, we've we've we ha- we have all the people you love on. Zach Galifianakis occasionally makes his face known. He's on playing games. You know, I think if you are a little daunted by the two-hour runtime of Never Not Funny, check out Playing Games. It's a little half-hour game show version of what we do on Never Not Funny. It's a right. sort of more structured version of it. Give that a try if you like it. Maybe jump on over to Never Not Funny. Or you know what? Just go deep dive. Put yeah. the put the wetsuit on and jump into the two hours of fun. That is never not funny. Never not funny. And playing games. A better way to laugh. And we're back, Wompsters. Womping it up here with Glenn Butterman, Marissa Wampler, Charlotte Listler, 
on the cans. So we were just getting into it with um, Mr. Butterman, but I, I kind of feel like maybe we get we get into his. Uh, we got off on the wrong foot. I yeah, well, absolutely we did. You know what? We should clear the air right now. Why don't both of you apologize? <sighs> I think you. Why don't you apologize for yes. coming in so hey, hot? Hey, take it down a notch, everybody. Listen, I would love nothing more for Glenn Butterman to become my father-in-law because I think your son is hot as hell. I'm not going to talk about this one bit. I like the fact he sets things on fire. Mm. I like the things. Allegedly. I like the fact. I like the fact that he is always hosting these amazing ragers at Where, your house. What at yes. my house? Yes, I'm not invited again, but someday I will be. Mm-hmm. When my he son's sees... having parties at my house. Yes. Well, you're not home five. Probably the week right from now. To I'm Roaming out the streets. I'm doing Paw Patrol. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you are leaving your house unattended. He is having a party at your house. That's prime time. You know, he had a bunch of taco trucks come to your house in a party and one of those big bounce houses. There was a bunch of sriracha on the ground. There That's was why. a shitload of sriracha. That's all, exactly yeah. why. All over the curtains and everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. Be taco smart. Trucks, people. If this is true, if these allegations are true. They absolutely are true. Trevor, you won't be marrying Trevor because Trevor will be six feet under. And by that, I You're mean. You're going to kill your son because he had taco trucks at your house? Yeah, Why don't you're we putting just put that- in some good borders? And boundaries. Yeah, exactly. And don't build plan. a wall. Let's not build a wall. Don't build a wall around your heart, sir. Yeah, exactly. These are good lessons, but not really. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> you thought Man. that I was really learning something from your bullshit. You will, and you will by the end of this podcast. I doubt it. You're going to be soft in her hand just like a whoopee cushion. That's right. I'm going to build a wall around my heart and my pubis. Okay. Butterman. Butterman, where did you meet your wife? You said the only thing I've heard about her is that she doesn't speak English, which I'm not surprised about because I don't know how anyone could continue ma- being married to you listening to the kind of negative bullshit that you're spewing at all times. I met my wife online. Okay. The way a lot of people meet these days. Yeah, match.com. Um, which one? No, on overseasbrides.com, oh. uh, which is uh, – do you do advertisements on the on the podcast? Nobody I'll, does that I'll do in a, America. I'll do a free commercial for Overseas no. Brides right now. Please don't. Overseasbrides.com, 100% guaranteed that you will find the women of your dreams and you will make them your bride. So what, did she come in like a container, like the wire or what? women? What? Did you get multiple women? You said the women of your dreams one make at, them. One at a time, but uh, it took me a while to find the right woman. And what happened to marry, the other women? Did you marry multiple women? I don't, I don't know where they are. I mean, oh, they, interesting. I probably assume six that feet they under. are probably, no, they uh, probably, you know, either went back to the countries that they're from. Uh-huh. Or, you assume? Uh, I, I don't know. You don't I, stay I let in them, touch with I your exes? I let them go. No, I, I released them on their own recognizance. So they're out there. This is not dark. speaking English, just wandering around the the American countryside. Mm, yeah, I think yeah that that about sums it up. I think I saw a bunch of them in the DSW, the designer What's shoe that? warehouse. You know that designer shoe warehouse? Yeah, got great deals and great specials. Yeah, on, Washington on shoes that nobody wants. Yeah, I think I saw a bunch of them trying on different mm-hmm. uh, shapers, uh, sketch well, or shape ups. Uh, well, maybe I'll go down there. Did you know that if you wear Skechers and you do the moonwalk, your butt gets really big? What is your wife's <laughs> name? Skechers Shape Ups. Uh, my wife's, what is your name? I have wife? changed my wife's name oh. for her. God, this guy's such an asshole. To Chandelier. Chandelier? Wow. You so really Trevor love- has to call his stepmom Chandelier? Chandelier Butterman? Yeah, that's a, because that doesn't roll off the tongue. It's beautiful and it's glimmering. Is it based off fancy. of Sia's song "Chandelier"? I don't know who that is. Sia is a really popular singer right now. I don't know. And she you has insist- a song called "Chandelier." Yes. Yeah. Is it about my wife? No. Nope. No. Well, maybe because my is. wife doesn't speak English, so she wouldn't get any of the song. She might still like it. Wait, 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 wait. The so best wait. part about marriage is that I can't wait to listen to this the man gets to do uh, man things Uh and be a man and the woman is a woman this is ridiculous is this why you insist that she only wears robes those like thin robes with feathers in her native country it, she's more comfortable wearing a silk robe. Well, I think it's what really fucked up that you made her wear a fucking robe and her nightie to back to school night. 
she wanted to feel comfortable and wanted to make a good impression on uh, the teachers and the faculty. That's weird, man. And I supported her. Chandelier does what she, listen. <laughs> what was her name in, before you changed it? No idea. Can't, unpronounceable. <laughs> unpronounceable. Not like a, unpronounceable in a her string, country. A string of not even American letters. Right. Right. She's was not like, from America. It, it was like all these Who knows like, where she's Thai, from? like Oh, she's from Thailand. I don't know. It's one of... Somewhere far, no wonder why he's somewhere far shit on away. Fire. Find her. Let, Let me, me tell find you her, something. Reach out to her. My son is no. Please don't reach out to Chandelier. She doesn't have a cell phone. Of Trevor, course. Why would you no, give her I'm, any that's way? Why to, I'm going to find her. Chandelier I know does that have, have her. a tracking device on her. Do you know what a tile is? It's one of those little. Of course, we um, know what a fucking tile is. She's got something inserted from the government under her under her not armpit. Anymore. Not you anymore. do. Cut it out. Yeah. You cut it out. Yes, that's right. I don't think Chandelier would think of that. I don't think she has. Well, maybe she's listening to this podcast now. Maybe it'll be she translated not, into would, her she native learned tongue. English. She Lord knows you talk enough. That's for sure. I think I'm going to go. No, please. Butterman, stop hey, putting like, hey, that bullshit. No, you don't you take your ball me, and go me. home. We will not beg you to stay. You know what we're going to do right now? I it's can't. It's a great time to do this. Cheesing us? That's right. What's cheesing us? Butterman, this will be hard for you to figure out. What oh, thing... No bothers you oh boy a lot crime don't start yet don't start okay. yet you'll start when we say you'll start disrespect two women oh, un-americanism i can't stand this fucking asshole short hair what's cheesing you what's cheesing you what what what's cheesing you what's cheesing you what's cheesing you what what what's cheesing you what's cheesing you God, I know it's coming, and it shocks me every time. You're listening to What's Cheesing You. Was that Aerosmith? Unofficially. R.I.P. Stop. They're not dead. Oh. Unofficially sponsored by DiGiorno Pizza. If I get off this podcast taping and I find out that Steven Tyler has been killed, I'm coming right to your doorstep, Butterman. Because you said don't. it enough times. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't drag me into that. I got enough problems with Trevor. I don't need the... So you do admit that he's house. got problems. You do admit that. I, I, I admit that he's got an attitude problem, not unlike your attitude problem. Mm. Excuse me. How about that's just being an individual? No, being an individual. Maybe Trevor's screaming out because he wants to be heard. Mm. Have you ever heard about that? Ever Maybe heard you about stop that? talking huh? for one second to listen to what Trevor has let to say. You, let me tell you what Trevor just did. If you think Trevor's such a genius, he just got a <laughs> what? What? What are those little tattoos right by your eyeball? It's yeah. like a teardrop. I love yeah. that. It looks like he's always crying. Yeah. like he's a sad that's clown. That's how smart Trevor is. Yeah. Okay? That's Trevor's that not means going he's to in college. A, has okay? killed someone or something in gang. Was that part of the Crips or something? I don't even. God, now I hope not. I hadn't even thought about that. You think he's in the Crips? I don't know. I hope not. But that does sound, does sound like something that a gang member will put on their face. Are the Crips in Marina Del Rey? Yeah. I should know this. I got to write this down for Paw Patrol. You really we, should. We, we gotta you got to get totally... a, a different name. I got to tell you what. I tell you, it is what straight is the up show? the what most is, successful so the children's sh show. It's about a bunch of dogs. One of them's a police officer. One of them's a firefighter. Jeez. One of them is like an EMT. Coast Guard. One of them's a Coast Guard. And, and one they ride of them around. A, is a construction dog. Exactly. And they go around exactly and they solve problems <laughs> like, oh my God, a fire hydrant is, hydrant exactly, is loose. You know, is, 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 is sprung a leak. This sounds exactly like what we do but only we're not dogs or animated this is so dumb okay a tattoo uh of a teardrop next yeah what to your does it eyeball. mean it can signify the wearer has killed someone uh -oh. or spent time in prison oh, uh oh that the wearer oh i can't say that one. <laughs> oh. anyway that's what it means <laughs> okay I, gotta, I would call trevor right this minute but i took away his cell phone mm -hmm. i took away his He's cell phone and chandeliers and I, I took away chandelier's cell phone i threw him in the ocean in the ocean that's not good for the ocean no, we should. You're right. We should clean up the oceans, and I'm all for that. But not a, not until my these cell phones. You've got a campaign against dolphins, is that right? Yeah, it's what? against dolphins. Correct. Dolphins and are Google assholes. It. So how it. could you? How could you possibly be Google against it. dolphins? Dolphins one of the are kindest. the rapists of the sea. Oh, Everybody no. knows See what that. I mean. Oh, this no. guy has got problems. Let me tell you something. If you're a woman, stay away from dolphins. That's not true. If you're a man, stay away from <sighs> dolphins. If you have sex organs, stay away from dolphins. Is that your rant, dolphins? Sure. I, I mean, I got a lot of rants, but I will. I will say that uh, you said if, if you, you get said, in the water with a dolphin, 
That's the that's the sound of a dolphin <laughs> sniffing a lady's beave underwater. No, that's exactly what it sounds no, like. No, that's how it breathes. The dolphin it's a goes, mammal. It has to come up to the water to breathe, and to when its sniff, blowhole gets to open, to sniff the bee. No, that's not true. It has to go woman, up and get oxygen. Of an innocent of an innocent woman out there having fun. Listen. I know this whole story. Apparently, Trevor, you brought everybody to Hawaii and you did a swim with dolphins experience at the Hyatt Regency and shit got weird. Not because my of the dolphins. Son, Trevor was raped. No, he wasn't. By a dolphin oh, in front of all of his peers. That's what the teardrop was for. In front of all of his peers. And Chandelier, God bless her, she didn't know what to do. She was screaming in some kind of foreign language. And. <laughs> I said, get, Chandelier, you get back up in the hotel and you don't come out. And, uh, and you know, I'll tell you another thing is I was dragged underwater by my ponytail by the goddamn dolphins who, they're so much smarter than us. No, you know, a lot of people say, a lot of no, people say a dolphin is as smart as a human. They are smarter. so much smarter. According to Trevor, what happened was your very long ponytail was sucked down the drain. Oh, got caught in the got drain. Got caught That's in a real the drain thing. system. That's a real thing. It had thing. nothing to do with the dolphin. Not only that, the dolphin wasn't raping your son. That was a game that they were playing with the dolphin trainers that, that they were supposed to come up and nuzzle you. That wasn't, nobody was trying to rape anybody. Well, Trevor was, as you saw, fully aroused. He fully always aroused. is. That's how he is. He's well, just ride or, you know. he's ride or die. Then if I could still use, then if what you're saying is true, then I should apologize to all dolphins. You On behalf of absolutely Paw should. Patrol, I will stop the slaughter of dolphins that I've been uh, spearheading. You've been spearing dolphins? No, slaughter. Spearheading. Slaughter. I, I've spearheaded a slaughter <laughs> campaign. Have you ever seen a documentary called The Cove? Yeah. It's about the slaughter of dolphins. Oh, no. What? You were like a... I'm the star of the movie. Go back and watch it. You can see me in the background. That's dark, man. That is dark. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you? So I should apologize to all dolphins. This is the first time a cheesing has become... What's cheesing you has become... Mm. Turned into an apology. Mm -hmm. Great. There's a lot of growth happening today with Butterman. Would you guys like to apologize to me? I never heard it. No. What for what? You have something that's cheesing you, Marissa? Yeah, I'm going to tell you what's cheesing me. Yeah. And it's what's, Better not be my son's dog. No, what's always cheesing me? The fact that I can't get a piece of that dog, because that is some sweet, sweet D. Let me tell you something. I will say this. On Trevor's behalf, uh, I don't have a large penis. My penis is <laughs> I'm more so of, shocked. My I, Because uh, when I was in the <laughs> SEALs, when I was in the Navy yeah. SEALs, you can swim a lot faster if you have a smaller penis. So, so you, you cut yours cut. off? You cut yours in half? No, but what you do is you don't allow yourself to get an erection. Mm. An erection means that your penis will grow longer and bigger and bigger. It's just like flexing a muscle, right? Is that true? If you don't flex your muscle, eventually it gets smaller, 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 that's smaller, smaller. That's not true. That's not true. So I've never heard that. That's what I did. I didn't get an erection for like 10 years wow. so I could swim a lot faster. Trevor- Really on withholding hand, on- so Trevor was blessed. Uh, yeah, was, because it goes down almost to like his mid-calf. He has to tie it up, That's he not said. a blessing. That's a curse. Yeah, because you know what happened was we were in um, volleyball. I don't want to spend too much gym. time talking about this. I'd love to not, not hear about this story. The only time I get out of the STARS program is to go to gym, right? So that's when I get to see Trevor. I don't know why, because we do gym. Yeah, well, I because it's because of the presidential phys physical fitness test I have to take. You're every never year. going up a rope. No, God knows. And Lord God knows, knows I'm not. You can't sit and reach your toes. Yeah, but anyway, we were we were doing volleyball practice, and he was getting down for a set, you know, set spike, and we heard he we heard this <laughs> sounded like a ball had hit the ground, but no, it hadn't. Two it was balls. actually the head the head of his penis had yeah. flopped out and and hit the ground. Yeah, he's blessed. Then that was shocking. It's been a real blessing. Yeah, for, for him. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking. If he about. has the That's, chance, I'm if he has the <laughs> chance to go to college, it's because of his endowment. It's no. because of a, some sort of college recruiter or no. an interview situation. No. If it comes up in a question, uh, I don't know how the college interview program works normally. I would if, hope it doesn't come up in a if question. If it comes but up in a college interview and he mentions it, uh, I hope and pray those that— Those people could be sued if it comes up I don't up think it's going to come up in an interview, but I, mean, I do might think it's why up. he's so confident. It might come up and knock underneath the table. Trevor That's had true. a mustache when he was six years old. Yes, I remember that. Who's Trevor's mom? 
Yeah. Um, Where uh, is Trevor's I, mom? Does she speak English? No, she didn't speak English. But she does, she does she still live here? Does she speak to Trevor? No idea. No idea. And I'm not gonna You don't be know if your son speaks to, to his, his mother. Own mother? I, no idea. Does Trevor speak I for, another I language? I forbid him. He speaks some sort of like foreign y like kind uh -huh. of uh yeah. He doesn't uh -huh. look like he's anything other than Caucasian. I don't know what to tell you. Look, I didn't come here to get grilled about uh, just asking my relationships uh -huh. and, and just my, asking questions, and man. My ex-wives. If if what you're implying is that I'm not Trevor's father, uh, because of the because I of my small about that. because of my small penis, how could a father with a small penis father a son with a oversized penis? Uh -huh. if that's what's going on. Uh, I, I hadn't even thought about it, but now you're bringing it up. It makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah. Because Trevor, honestly, the joie de vivre that Trevor brings to life. I don't even know. That's not English. That, <sighs> that's not English. His, you know, his it's openness, right. his openness to other people. Yeah. You know, just his saying He's yes really to good life. With language. He speaks three languages. Yeah, he speaks three languages. Uh, make yeah, a lot of sense all, to me. That none of them are American. Mm. I mean, well, no, he speaks American, but then he speaks he three speaks other. English. Yeah, what is it? English. I say American, and then he speaks two other languages on top of that. Yeah. But it's more like a bunch of sounds that I, it doesn't make any sense to me. All right. Who's cheesing who? What's cheesing me? Yeah. Uh, is people that think I can read their minds when they're behind me, and I'm on my bike, and then they mm. get pissed off because I didn't read their mind. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't honk at me because I didn't let you over. I can't see you. You're behind me, That's asshole. Right. That's right. Why anyway. don't you get one of those little mirrors that you attach to your I bike? do have a mirror, but that's for my safety. That's not to accommodate anybody else. I've already said I don't think there should be lines on the road. We should just all feed together like a bunch of pack of dolphins. You don't know? you also have— Terrible um, analogy. Terrible. Because No, I'm telling you that's a terrible oh, analogy. A pack of dolphins you. is a pack of rapists. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought we were off the dolphins. Oh, I forgot. I forgive you, dolphins. I thought you had little mirrors break. that are installed in your eyelids so you can see behind you. Who's this? Aerosmith? Oh. R.I.P. This song is called Chandelier, <laughs> asshole. It's about well, a party I hope, girl. I hope my wife doesn't hear this because she won't understand a fucking word. <laughs> She'll understand the the feel of it. One, two, three. Wop it up! Hello, Earwolf Podcast listener. Scott Ackerman here from Comedy Bang Bang. It's a brand new year, and you know what that means. It's time for Comedy Bang Bang to count down the top episodes of 2017. You voted for your favorites. Now you can hear Paul F. Tompkins and myself talking about the best episodes of the year on our Best of 2017 specials. Listen to the whole four-part special this week on Comedy Bang Bang, and I'll see you in 2018. What is this? A little known <laughs> this is singer Omarion. Oh, is Aerosmith the only band you know? Uh, yeah. It's probably what the Queefies screw in a group to. It's a great song, actually. It's a terrible song. You it's didn't get to any of the Ice lyrics. Box. <laughs> is there an icebox where your heart used to be? Oh, I that's know interesting. About this guy's heart. Me? I'm an open book. I'll tell you whatever. No, you want Butterman, about. you are the opposite Who was the of that. First person that you ever loved. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Can't be your mom. I was about to say my mom. Um, I got bit by a dog once. Oh, why is that? How is that going to lead? The dog to bit me. Uh, I was at a children's birthday party. Mm -hmm. I was a child, so of course I was at a children's birthday party, and the dog bit me very close to my groin. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was a combination of fear and pain mm. and uh, anxiety. And then uh, they had to pull my pants down to see where the dog bit me. Yeah. And it was so close to my yep. my little package uh, that everybody was looking at me and laughing mm -hmm. at me. But in that moment, um, I discovered some feelings for that particular dog. Mm -hmm. I thought he seemed like a great animal. That's your... First experience of love and sexuality is someone yeah. biting you, almost yeah. biting your dong off. Sure, that's messed up. Is that up. not? That's not love. Not exactly. Does what everyone I not have that experience? Nope. Well, I wasn't referring to your first sexual experience as equated to love. Oh, okay. 
but it's an interest. It's interesting that that was your go-to. Butterman, if you if did you he, ever have a soft pillow to land on? <laughs> you know, a sweet sweet person to take care of you. Anyone ever take mm, care of you? Nobody takes care of Glenn Butterman. Glenn Butterman takes care of other people, and he takes care of the criminals and his ponytail. So. <laughs> Remember this, criminals. This is an easy thing to remember because it rhymes. If you're doing the crime, I'm gonna get you. That doesn't. It's no, there's no rhyme to be I'll found in that, my friend. I use this ponytail. I whip my hair back and forth. Uh, I whip my hair back and forth. Okay. I'll use this ponytail to track you down. Mm. Was, how do you do that? What do you mean? How do you use your ponytail to track? You've said before be that out, it predicts, like example, it predicts would, the rain. For example, I would be out driving around or on the water, cruising the water on the Paw Patrol jet ski. Yeah. And I would be, uh, yeah, my my ponytail can, in a, if I let it do its thing, it will sort of point me in the right direction. Hmm. Literally. Like a divining stick. Exactly. It will literally point towards a, where a crime is happening, which is why I formed Paw Patrol. I found out that. I could use this for good. Hmm. Was it was it because you could get Marina Del Rey Public High School to pay for your jet ski? That was a uh, a side benefit. I mean, uh, how much crime is happening on the water? A lot. Uh, What's you, the latest crime paint, you've busted? Spray paint. Uh, people vandalize the ocean. They go out there and they spray paint. Um, you know, uh, racist words. No, they don't onto and water. They, and some people do. And they spray paint uh, like pictures of uh, vaginas <sighs> and buttholes mm. out on the ocean, stuff like that. You ever think you might be paranoid? Was your dad paranoid? Don't you, you fucking, you know what? I'm going to go. No. Oh. I'm going to go. I'm gonna Glenn, go. come on. Beg me to stop. No. We're going to jump into spotlight right now, okay? I thought that's what we were doing. We are now. Glenn? Love in an elevator. Nope. Going down when I'm going down. No. No. <laughs> Glenn, is it true your father was a Native American chief? This is White Snake, isn't it? Glenn, did you just hear me? Good this is one. the only other band that I have any respect for besides Aerosmith. My father was a Native American chief, that's correct, uh, which is why I grew my hair out in mm -hmm. honor of my father. <laughs> and your mother. Is a Japanese prostitute. <laughs> Not a Japanese prostitute. My mother was a prostitute. Who happened to be Japanese. Correct. Interesting. So you got a lot of cultures melding. It's interesting that you've devoted yourself so much to America when you really are a human melting pot. Oh, you know, I never thought about it like that. Hmm. What it's did, all kind of hitting me all at once. What's the right last now. thing you said to your dad when before he died? Whew, well, God, I hadn't told this story in a long time, but uh, we were at McDonald's and uh, <laughs> Paw Paw said to me, Paw Paw, interesting, interesting, Paw Patrol. Never made that connection. Paw Paw said to me, Tsunami Tumtanka, Obwaji. Mie yellow. Mie yellow. Do you want another chicken McNugget? And what that means is we were at McDonald's. Do you want another chicken McNugget? And I said, yes, Paw Paw. And I got one and put it in the dipping sauce, mm -hmm. sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. And Paw Paw, 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 Paw took a chicken McNugget and he took it out to his gay his. Native American mouth, and he ate it, and he started choking. Oh God! Choking oh, on no. the chicken oh, nugget. No. And oh no! Papa said, "Run, boy! How does go that, get help?" What is that? Did he say it in English or did he say it? It was it like well, it was in English. Then I'm translating, okay. but that's why I, <clears throat> I don't like it when people don't speak American because I didn't understand what he said. Oh. He said, Tatanka, gum, gum, gum. means buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely means buffalo. <laughs> if, if, if Dancing with Wolves has taught us anything, Tatanka means buffalo, I, but maybe he meant run like the buffalo. Yes, it yes. must be. I've never run, seen the movie. Buffalo, I've, always meant, I've always meant to see the movie. I've never seen it. Run like the buffalo, so, get help. I think he was saying get help, so I ran, but I became so frightened. 
that I just kept running. I just kept running. Mm, this and, sounds a lot like Silence of the Lambs. And I ran and I, and even now I still. You feel like if you had running. stayed, do you feel like if you had you're stayed, you might have been able to running. save him? Of course, of course. Boy, these are feelings I haven't felt in a long time. Wow. Well, oh. guess what, Glenn? You don't have to run anymore, okay? This is a safe space. That's right. You can put down your emotional weapons. Okay, lay them down. This is really snuck up on me. And just let Trevor love you. Let Chandelier love you. That's right. Let Whatever the, her let real the, name is. Let Marina Del Rey <laughs> love you. Love you. Let that dolphin love you, even if it hurts a little bit. If you can edit out some of this crying, no. be good for me. How about we don't edit anything out in our lives? How about we welcome it all in? God even the it. ugly stuff. God damn Even it. the ugly stuff. Look at this. This is a real tear. It is. Not like Trevor's tattooed tear. <laughs> what is he trying to tell you with that t- tattooed tear, right? That there's pain inside him, too. Yeah, I a- want you to go home and I want you to tell Trevor that story. Oh, God damn it. You're choking on a chicken McNugget right now and it's and it's full of anger. Is that is that what this podcast is all about? Is tricking people to come on here to promote and talk about things that are important to them, and then you trick them with emotional trickery. That's exactly true. That's absolutely true. That's exactly what it is. And I just got my A for the day. <laughs> All right. Woo! I did it. God, that's more crying than I've ever gotten out of anybody. That's true. Thank that you so much, time. Glenn. Guys, we're not going to do listeners love lockdown right now. We can't we don't do have it. Time. We can't do it. But, but we're going to do it next it. time. That was worth that it. That was worth oh, it. Glenn, God, thank you so much. I just much. feel like a weight has been lifted to talk about my dead papa. Yeah. And, uh, the whole thing. The- and Queefies, if you're listening... You know, why don't you why don't you invite Glenn over for a little hot tub in? I hope that's not the case, but I would like to be included just in the community. You know, exactly. I'm always viewed as sort of an authority figure and a crime buster. Glenn, I'm having an open house on Christmas Eve. I'd love to have you by the condo. Please bring Trevor by. We'd love I'm to see him I'm and not, his I'm dog not, there. I'm, we really excuse would. Excuse me? No, I'm You're not. You're right. You heard me. Wompsters, God, thank you for taking this journey. I'd like to thank the Native American community. I'd like to thank uh, Overseas. This podcast has been sponsored by OverseasBrides.com, where you can get all your women. Listler. That's a yep. fact. That's a fact, too. You can get all your women you I can wanna, get there. I, That's I don't right. want to be over the top here, but they got the best women. Head on over to PawPatrol.com. To, no uh, W. No what, W. No W. Okay. Yeah. If, it is? Okay. I mean, even more of a reason you need to change. Parents against wackness. Uh, all right, I told you. All right, is it all really right. a cartoon? It's a. You're you saying can't it's a keep kids going cartoon. over this. Wobsters. This is Aerosmith. Let's live with our hearts open, okay? This is Aerosmith. And our dicks hard. Ragdoll, daddy little cutie. Oh, I don't like this band. Wop it up! This has been an Earwolf production. Executive produced by Scott Ackerman, Chris Bannon, and Colin Anderson. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. Hey everybody, it's Paul Shear. And I'm Amy Nicholson. And we have a brand new podcast called Unspooled, where we are watching the 100 greatest films of all time. Voted on by the AFI. We're going to be starting at number one, Citizen Kane, jumping to number 100 with Ben-Hur, and doing films that... We've never even watched before. And we'll be talking to experts, whether it's a cinematographer or a stuntman. We're going to get behind these movies and figure out what makes them so great. So if you like the way this sounds, why don't you subscribe right now to Unspooled, wherever you listen to your podcast.